Skyward Gear Reviews today to review a selection of Garmin smartwatches. Next up on Gear Reviews. Hey, all right, so let's go ahead and start with my least favorite watch, the Garmin Instinct Solar. Now, personally, I think that this l looks the best. I mean, I like something that looks rugged. I like something that looks rugged, and really, this thing just kind of reminds me of the, the good old G-Shock watches. I mean, I don't have a very big wrist at all, um, but it's super lightweight, it's comfy. I just think it looks really cool. It looks kind of BA, if you know what I mean, but uh, the... The, the basically the big the big things that this watch does is of course it's solar capable it's like super it's supposed to be military spec uh watch like uh it's got thermal shock it's waterproof certainly you have all these the, the sports tracking you can do run um you can do i mean there's a whole bunch of different activities you can do i'm sorry the activities are things you've already done um, but if you want to track a run, I mean, like I said, there's a whole bunch of different things. I didn't really get too, too much into this one just because the other two watches just, they just had so many more features than this one. So I really didn't bother to, to kind of look too, too much into this. And the fact that, uh, when my wife kind of showed me her, her Apple watch, and again, I know they're four different, very different things, but the screen is just really antiquated, but it does have a backlight. So that's cool. It does have a backlight. You've got the, the pulse oximeter on there. It'll track your sleep. And there's, there's so many good metrics around that too. Um, it'll do stress tracking. It'll do something called battery, um, um, body battery. And all these watches do that. So basically, you know, it tracks your sleep. And then throughout the day, if you do hard activities, uh, hard cardio, things like that, it'll kind of go down. It's, it's marginally useful. Um, you can have, you can see the weather on here and then back to the home screen. I mean the battery life on this is Some of the best battery life really for any smartwatch I mean you can get if this thing's fully charged apparently you can get like 30 days out of it now again That's not using the GPS the entire time But um, that is what it's supposed to be able to do and Out of all these watches this has the most reviews. I mean on Amazon this thing has 34,000 reviews and it's four and a half stars so Clearly, people like this watch. It's, uh, I mean, I feel like it's it's simple and, you know, it does the job. There, And it's, like I said, it's just like, it's really tough. It's got uh, the same charge port as all pretty much all the other Garmin watches. 100 meters waterproof. It's got, like I said, the, the heart rate. The heart rate. It has the um, pulse oximeter. This has an alter altimeter in it. This has a barometer. This has uh, a whole bunch of different sensors in it. So pretty cool. I, I like it but uh, it's not the one for me. So let's go ahead and move on to what I thought was second place. So this one's kind of tough for me to put in second place because I really, really did like this watch. And really, it's a, to me, it's a, close, it's a close competitor to the venue, but we'll go over, we'll go over why I chose the venue in a little bit. But um, the big things about the Forerunner, it's very, very uh, activity focused. So it, running really it, it's really running focused um you can see it's got the red you know the red button there to start your activities now this one's not a it's not a touch screen neither was the last one but this one's not a touch screen so you got to use the buttons for everything and for all of us people who all we have is smartphones and everything's touch screen it might be a little foreign to you at first um, kind of using buttons for everything but I will say that the muscle memory on this one's great. If I'm running, like I can change the song without even looking at it, uh, which is, I mean, it's really cool. I mean, really, so I have it set to, so I have Amazon Music on here and actually it works great. You can uh, sync, uh, I, I sang my JBL Charge 5, a couple different uh, wireless headphones to it. It does suck the battery a lot when you use this. Like for example, if you're running using the GPS, and um, the music with your Bluetooth headphones, I mean, they say you get like six hours of battery life out of it, which isn't bad, which, which is terrible. <laughs> but, you know, again, you're using a lot of different wireless signals and, uh, you know, the batteries on these things aren't, they're not very big, just from a layman's point of view. But the big thing around this is um, you can monitor all sorts of stuff. There is the Garmin Coach, which are basically, again, this one's great if you're trying to do running 
So this is this will tell you your training status, VO2 max. Um, again, I have used this for about a week now. And then it also gives you how fast it thinks you'll do a 5K, 10K, half marathon, and a marathon, which is pretty neat. And that's just based on your runs. You've got notifications, which is neat. You've got notifications. If someone texts you, you can reply with real basic stuff. And actually, what's cool about it is you can customize it, which is neat. You can actually customize the, um, the response, which is cool. So you got health stats. You got your heart rate monitor, stress. Um, again, I haven't used this one in a few days, so it's not going to give me all that stuff. But uh, pulse oximeter, you got your notifications, your music, battery, um, uh, body battery in there. Your history are the different activities you've done. So it'll give you your stats about, for example, my swim that I did. So I did a mile swim. It's giving me some stats there. Uh, run that I did. So all stats. So I mean, it gets really nitty gritty on on you know what it can show you, from your cadence to your pace, all that good stuff. Um, and again, this is the really the forerunner is running. It's running specific, but again, you can you can record so many different. It's it's insane how much stuff you can record. What's cool about it is if you just hit the hit the go button and then you start doing push ups or something. I actually found that it's it's amazing that it automatically knows you're doing push-ups first of all, and then second of all, it actually counted. My, I did 30 push-ups, and it it counted 30. It's it's pretty amazing. Um, and that was actually the venue that I did that with. But uh, walking, you can do different little. Um, you can download different little apps, and there actually was an app. Um, it's like a game. Uh, where is it? Maze game. I mean, it's kind of, kind of a little janky, but I mean, <laughs> if you're really bored and you don't have your smartphone, I mean, you can, <laughs> you can fiddle with that. But, but anyway, so again, I think it's a great watch, and personally, I think this is going to be a bit more robust than the Venue, just because it's not a touchscreen. I don't think it's as maybe as sensitive as that one is. But uh, you got the same charging port. Uh, again, this is the 245 music, and I, I mean, I really liked it. It's got daily suggested workouts, which the venue, well, it, it, it has that too. The built-in sports apps, the GPS, um, heart rate monitor, VO2 max information. What this one doesn't have, this doesn't have a barometer, and it doesn't have a compass, is my understanding. Uh, this one doesn't have a compass. But it will tell you, for example, training load, training effect, whether you're doing aerobic or anaerobic exercise, recovery, how many hours you need to recover from an activity that you did. So there's, there's just a lot, a lot that goes into it. There's women health tracking. Uh, it's got notifications on it. You can download the Starbucks app if you uh, want to order a Starbucks, I guess, from your watch. It'll automatically, if you, for example, if you're riding a bike and you set it to, for example, text someone, it'll automatically text someone, which is pretty neat. And there's a whole bunch of different watch faces. The watch face that I chose was that one, which had a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of information. Kind of the standard, I didn't like the standard, like these are all the standard Samsung ones. There's really not anything that's really, this one is the data lover, so it has literally everything that you could ever want on. It's got... Uh, sun up, sun down, the, the date, the time, weather information, humidity, uh, your battery, your steps, your heart rate's in the middle there. So it's got a ton of different information on this one screen. And like I said, I really would, I really would have kept this one, uh, but the venue does have some extra features that this doesn't really have. And just in, in terms of uh, convenience features and kind of everyday features, and the OLED display does look really good. So anyway... Uh, that is the Forerunner 245. Again, I think it's a great watch. If all you're really looking for is a great fitness watch uh, that does everything you could want, and uh, and it also has music. You can, you know, like I said, Bluetooth the music to this. You can download uh, music directly to the watch, so you don't need your phone or anything like that. You can just, like I said, download it straight to the watch. And this one will hold about 500 songs, which is really cool. Um, I would say the 400, 245, especially uh, on, on Prime Day. On Prime Day, like all these watches were like the same price. They were all like right around 200. 
So uh, can't beat it for the price if you're looking for that kind of a specific watch. So let's move on to the Venue 2. All right, guys, so now for my favorite watch. This is the, the Garmin Venue 2, and really there are updated versions of all these watches. The only reason I got these because they were all on sale on Prime Day, and I like a good deal if you know anything about me. So anyway, so this is the Venue 2, and it is a touchscreen watch, and it's just, again, it's going to look a lot more modern, For obviously, to, just to start off with any other ones. Um, it does have two physical buttons. The other watches had significantly more physical buttons. I don't find it to be that much of an issue, really. When you're, especially when you're doing exercise, these two buttons um, start and stop the exercise. So it's not bad. You don't have to really fiddle with the touchscreen. But I will say, when you are exercising and your, your fingers are sweaty or you're obviously swimming, the touchscreen really doesn't work very well. So just keep that in mind. If you're really just looking for the fitness one, the Forerunner might be the better option because of its physical buttons. Besides that though, I, I find that the Venue, it does everything that the Forerunner does and then it has uh, really some, some really good extra features. For example, you can uh, put your credit card on here, which is neat. Um, and you can pay, actually, I paid at Chili's for the first time the other day. So you can go in here and go to your wallet and then basically you enter your passcode and then it'll show you your credit card. So that's pretty neat. The other ones uh, don't have that option. Obviously you can set uh, alarms, you have timers. This is, I think this is my favorite watch face. Um, so it's got uh, the sunset time, it's got weather information, it's got the day, uh, the, the time, heart rate, all that good stuff. It's got a compass built in there. And again, there's tons of different watch faces that you can choose from. That just happens to be my favorite. I like the way it looks. I mean, like I said, there's a whole bunch of them. But like I said, the ones, the, the standard kind of Garmin ones, I didn't really care for very much. But they have live ones, but that takes up more battery power. But anyway, there's a whole bunch of, uh, that's the same one as I had on the four, uh, the Forerunner. So again, it comes with the weather, the heart rate, steps, all that fun stuff. So anyway, so that is kind of the, the watch face interface. When you go into the weather, it tells you today, and it's got hourly forecast, which is great, cool. Uh, a few days in advance, air quality, UV index, humidity, really just a ton of information. You got your notifications, and again, if someone texted you, you could respond with pre-made uh, pre responses. Got your heart rate over time, 46, uh, apparently have a big heart, so... <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not dead. This will give you all the different activities you've done. What's cool about this one is it actually show a map of your activity. So I just did this today, it was 32 miles bike ride. So it gives me the actual map of it. And in the app, um, in the app, the Garmin Connect app, it really goes super in depth on, uh, like I said, every mile that you did, how, you know, how long was each mile, your speed, um, laps, Right, so laps, I think I had this set to every five miles, so it'll give you how many calories you did, ascent, descent, average miles an hour, all that good stuff, so all the different, all the different metrics there. So that's that. <laughs> this was, um, oh, no, never mind. Uh, I recorded cutting the grass on the, on the other watch because I didn't want to get this one dirty, but uh, this is a swim. This is what a swim will look like on here. So again, it's not gonna have a map because it's not GPS-based when you do the pool swim. It's just based on how many meters the pool is. So I did a mile, time to time to stretch and be active, it says, I have an alarm. And swim time, all that fun stuff. I'm not even sure what SWAF means. If anybody knows, please uh, leave that in the comments below. This was a run. And again, it gives you the map. I went over in my neighborhood. So almost four miles, 29 minutes. It gives you the pace, your calories, steps. It will tell you cadence. So just, I mean, it really has a lot of a really a lot of really good information on the watch, especially when it comes to um, activities. Because if you really don't care about activities, you'd probably just want to get a Galaxy Watch 4 because you can watch YouTube on it, you can take calls on it, it has Google Maps on it. But again, most of that I can just take my phone out if I really want all that stuff. Uh, I really like the Garmin Connect app, and I think that's re really a reason that you buy a Garmin is because of the Garmin Connect app. Uh, it gives you intensity minutes. So obviously I've, I did a lot today, which was the big bike ride. So I've burned 2,656 calories today. 1,388 of them were active this morning, 
when I went for the bike ride, body battery, I guess I'm dead. <laughs> um, that basically just, again, when you sleep, you charge, and then throughout the day, because I went for that bike ride, that intense bike ride, it drained pretty quickly. Uh, respiration, pulse ox, um, it'll give you sleep, no data, I didn't use this uh, last night for sleep, but if you did, it'll give you all your sleep information, uh, your REM sleep, deep sleep, light sleep, pretty cool. Uh, again, it gives you all the stats this week, how much you bike ride, how much you ran, how much you swam, just, just a, a ton of information on your wrist. I really, really like this watch. And then it'll just go back to the activity itself. But I found the GPS to be very accurate. If you look on the phone, it'll actually, it'll show you the GPS of like, you could, you sped up here, you slowed down here. It, it's pretty neat. So uh, I might try to show, I might try to show that on my phone. But anyway, so that's the, the venue too. Like I said, it'll definitely do the, um, it'll do the music. You have the health uh, snapshot feature, hydration tracking, respiration. Um, you've got fitness age, body mass index. Like there's just so much stuff on here. So let me just show you real quick how to record an activity. Let's go back to, so from the home screen, uh, let's do a strength just to show you. It's pretty neat. So strength. So it will automatically track what you're going to do. But if you want to do a workout, there's pre um, preloaded workouts on here. So if you want to, if you start, it'll actually show you with a nice little animation how to do a squat, for example, or um, barbell deadlift. How do you do that? It's got these nice little animations. And like I said, it'll track all this stuff. Uh, total body muscle. So it'll just give you tons of different things to do, which is cool. So it does that and just so much more, so much more good stuff. I used this for about four days and I did some active stuff with it pretty much every day with the GPS. So I would say that if you're, if you're not using the GPS every day for activities, this thing will probably last a week. I mean, on, I think on Garmin's website, it says it'll last 11 days in smartwatch mode, 22 hours in GPS mode, and then eight hours in GPS with music mode. So in terms of battery life for an OLED display smartwatch, it's fantastic. So, uh, you know, that's, that's another reason I really like this because the Galaxy Watch, I've heard it lasts like a day, um, if you can even get a day out of it. So anyway... That's why I ended up keeping the, the Venue 2. There's just, like I said, the screen is really nice. There's a lot of great features to it. You can pay with it, uh, you know, on your run or whatever. But I think you'd, you'd do well with any of these if all you want is a, you know, a fitness-based smartwatch. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. This has been Scott with Juviews. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.